Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Driveway Detail. Today what we have in for a full detail is a 2005 Ford F-150. And it's not incredibly dirty, so I get a big break there. But today is actually the coldest day in winter so far this year in Georgia. And I'm definitely not a winter person, so it's gonna be interesting. But that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and jump right into this one. So to kick this detail off, I'll go ahead and rinse off the entire truck. Then I'll move on to cleaning off the wheels and tires using some Meguiar's wheel and tire cleaner. And this product does a great job at cutting through all the brake dust and grime that's accumulated on the wheels and tires. With the wheels and tires being clean, I can move on to foaming down the entire truck. Then I'll go ahead and wash the exterior of the truck using the two bucket method. And as you guys may have noticed, this truck had a lot of faded black plastic. So I discussed a long term option with the owner to get these plastics restored. If you guys would like to see me make a dedicated video to restoring black plastics so that they last for a couple years, let me know in the comment section down below. After having the vehicle all rinsed off, I can move on to drying the entire truck. To do this, I'll just use my waffle weave towel from Adam's Polishes. And you never want to skip out on drying when you're cleaning a vehicle because you don't want to look back on your hard work in a few hours and notice a bunch of water spots on your freshly cleaned car. Moving to the interior now, I'll go ahead and get the owner's items removed as well as clean off the floor mats. And um, for some reason this truck was full of umbrellas. So in the comments below, let me know your guess on how many I pulled out of this truck.
Now I'll move on to getting these carpets all vacuumed up. And just by vacuuming a vehicle, it already makes it look 10 times cleaner. So if you've been thinking about detailing your own car, but you just might not have the right tools, you can always just start off by purchasing a vacuum. The one I use, for example, it's fairly inexpensive. I think it costs right at around $90. So if you'd like to check this vacuum out or any of the other products I use, I have them all linked in the description. Now I can bust out the extractor and get these carpets looking new again. And for those of you guys who have asked what ratio I dilute my carpet solution at, I usually dilute around 12 to 1. However, if I see a carpet with heavier staining, I'll mix up an 8 to 1 ratio.
Moving on now to the seats and a quick tip to always remember when using the extractor is make sure that you're paying close attention to the water passing through it and try to continue to make passes until your water's coming up crystal clear. Here's a quick shot of me emptying the dirty water out of the extractor and I also went ahead and cleaned off the door gems and since these weren't really dirty besides the bottom portions I just used some detail spray and a microfiber cloth to get them all clean. Then I moved on to cleaning off all the interior plastics using some all purpose cleaner from Chemical Guys and a detail brush to get into all the cracks and crevices. After having all the plastics cleaned off, I can go ahead and get them UV protected using some silk and shine that's going to give these plastics up to 6 weeks of protection. It's also going to dry to a grease free matte finish.
Then to finish off this detail, I just went ahead and cleaned off all the windows as well as applied some tire shine. But that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, please go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if you're new to the channel and love seeing detailing videos like this one, then consider subscribing and turning on that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And as always, enjoy the aftershots coming up and I'll catch you guys in the next one.